Welcome back to Builds Not Projects. In today's video, I'm going to be going through a quick DIY on the wiring, the correct wiring and stuff that you need to be able to convert these first or third gen Toyota pickups over to trailer style lights um, for the flatbed. So I'll be putting the lights on the back as well as doing the uh, trailer, the five, the five wire to four wire trailer conversion. So I'll be going through that too. So even if even if you're not having a flatbed and you're just wanting to wire up a trailer or needing to know what wires go to what on the first or third gen pickups, um, I'll cover that in this video. Somebody had put these trailer lights on it, but they weren't really wired up. So the only thing that worked was brake lights I think or maybe tail lights I don't remember for sure there was only one thing that worked on them so what I'm gonna do is I bought some six inch oval trailer lights um, just LED truck lights that have a reverse in the middle of them tail turn tail turn brake reverse so I'll be putting those on I got these brackets here what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on under here like so and then put the lights in, get them wired in. I'm going to have to do a uh, four-way trailer wiring plug on these because the way that the Toyotas are wired, you have to do that to make a single light like this work. So. Okay, so here is a jumbled mess of wiring. A um, bunch of green wires just from not being sealed up correctly. So be eliminating all this wire that is bad and not needed anymore. And uh, I'll be putting in the new wiring. So I'll probably, I'll start the new wiring probably about here somewhere. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so I just did a uh, quick cut job and cut all of the uh, bad wiring off and pulled the lights off quick. They're just a couple little bolts on the back, but pull that junk off. So now I can uh, start rewiring. I'm gonna have to figure out something for a uh, license plate light as well, because I think they had the license plate here. Um, so I'll have, to, I'll have to do a little white or something there too so I don't have a license plate lamp yet I will I'll get one but that won't be that hard to tie in since the wires are gonna be running right through there anyway so okay guys so here is all of the wiring uh, colors and what they're for so white with the black tracers ground green is tail green with the black tracers left turn green with the yellow tracer right turn green with the white tracers break and Red with the blue tracer is your backup or reverse lights. Um, so that's all the wiring that you would need to know to wire in these lights and uh, do the do that five wire, five to four wire trailer conversion for doing the trailer plug, or if you're doing the five to four wire for doing these lights, or if you just have wiring that screwed up and need to know that is the wiring diagram okay so i'm out here at my 89 because i need the uh trailer the four wire trailer converter box that's hanging right up there there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut that off my truck because I don't have one right now and don't feel like running to a store so I'll just cut it off my truck and then I'll put a new one on my truck later on 
Okay, so I got this cut off, this four wire converter cut off my truck. So what it does is it takes a, uh, takes a five wire input. So it'll, uh, takes a five wire input and turns it into a four wire. So what it does is it uses the, uh, turn, the two turn wires on the uh, output for brakes as well. So you get, that's why you lose a wire. So the uh, the Toyotas were originally a separate bulb, so they had a separate bulb for turns as they did for brakes, um, instead of just using like a dual filament bulb. So you have to run one of these to convert it to be able to get it to run lights like these that use the same wire for turn and tail. So, well. Uh, this is originally made for trailers, so what you do is you wire it in, and then that way you can plug in to a trailer, um, converts it to the four, the flat four for trailers, or you can run one of these to like a normal seven-way. Um, but that's because trailers are all wired the same bulb for same bulb for brakes as they are for turns. So. Now I can get this thing wired in. Um, I needed to redo it on my truck is why I wasn't worried about cutting it off there because I didn't... Uh, one of the wires wasn't quite connected great. Um, I had a crappy connection so one of the turn signals wouldn't work on the trailer. Alrighty, so I got the converter wired in here. Um, I just wired it directly in line, and then that way I've got four wires coming out the back. Um, the wire that's running across the top here is a ground that I'm gonna run to a ground right back over here. I'm gonna run it to the frame, and then um, I'm also going to, the other wire that is in that little bundle is a uh, the reverse wire so that way I can have all the backup lights and everything in here as well so we'll uh, get these lights over here wired up and then we'll be good to go Okay, so as I'm wiring on this, um, if the wires are really thin and they're too small for your uh, heat shrink butt connector, what you can do to get a good grip on them is I take and I fold the, I don't know if you can see this very well, I think get closer. What I do is I fold the, I'll strip it a little longer, about twice as long as you normally would, and then I just fold it over and then I put my butt connector on and crimp it because that way you got more wire in the tube and you can give it a little tug test and uh, that way you're gonna get a good a good grab on the wire um, just sometimes the wires are a little bit too thin to be able to get a good grab on them um, so I do like to use that method and then these are the uh, heat shrink butt connectors with the adhesive in them so when you shrink them they uh, seal up so then the connection is completely sealed just like if you were to use adhesive lined heat shrink and do a solder connection um, I prefer to use butt connectors over solder on a lot of stuff just because it's faster um, faster and really it's just as good of a connection for the most part so the uh that's what i'm doing here so we'll uh get these other these last four wires hooked up and then we'll uh i don't have any i don't think i have any little mounts to be able to mount the uh, wiring harness underneath the bed but i might just drill some holes and zip tie it up so we'll uh we'll 
get this done. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, I don't have reverse light still. The reason why is uh, the switch isn't even hooked up, and I don't, I can't find the wires that go to that yet. So basically, I'll just have to uh, run an ignition power wire to the switch, and then just run the one that comes back to the lights from the switch back. So I'll have to figure that out, find where that wire went, but. That's all we got time for in today's video. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button if you already haven't. Hope that can help some of you guys out doing your wiring, um, whether it, on any Toyota first gen through third gen Toyota pickups. Um, that should be the correct wires and everything for doing trailer, for whether you're adding in a trailer plug. So if you're just adding in a trailer plug, what you can do is just leave the uh, just kind of tee in to those wires going to your tail lights don't don't just run it straight how I did but um, if you're gonna be doing flatbed lights or lights like this for the rear for whatever reason whether it's a off-road machine or something um, just be doing it the way I did and it should all work so thanks for watching today's video guys please hit the like and subscribe button if you already haven't um, it's a little bit of a different style of video, but I'm trying to do, I tried, I need to get this Toyota done so I can sell it. Um, so that's why I'm doing a video on this this week. I didn't have the correct parts for the Odyssey this week. So you'll uh, see this thing coming up here shortly in the next video, but I didn't have enough video to be able to put one out. So I, uh, I'm waiting for parts to show up for this thing and then we'll get back to going on it. We'll uh, catch you in the next one.